Now some big news coming in, some fresh high resolution satellite images reviewed by India today indicate that there are no signs of immediate novelcy at Ladakh's Pangong So area. New images explicitly shows additional build up by the PLA at finger 5 and finger 6 along the Pangong So lake. The additional infrastructure includes prefabricated huts, new tents and storage at finger 6. At finger 5, which is closer to the point of confrontation, the PLA has raised additional tents there. Chinese floating dock and boats at Finger 5 are also captured in the satellite imagery. However, new images shows that disengagement process remains in place at the Galwan River Valley, where PLA earlier moved back from the line of actual control. Satellite images from the Galwan River Valley taken on the July 23rd show that the PLA troops have been following the disengagement so far. In fact, uh, it's not, it's not something that is settling indeed. Fresh re high resolution satellite images now reviewed by India today indicate very clearly that there has been no signs of immediate normalcy at the, Pang at the Ladakh's Pangong So Lake. In fact, as uh, claimed by the Chinese that they will push back, uh, that was the discussion that they had in a series of core commander meets that took place uh, and the military uh, chiefs meeting with each other uh, time and again uh, has in fact ensured to push the Chinese troops back at the Pangong So and ensure a status quo that was prior to May but it appears that from these satellite images that the normalcy has not yet come to play at the Pangong So area. Abhishek Bala joining us for more details. Abhishek, these new images there very explicitly show additional build-up by the PLA at Finger 5 and Finger 6 along the Pangong So Lake. Take us through the details of, uh, uh, of the infrastructure that we see currently in these images, including prefabricated huts, new tents and storage at the Finger 6 area. Uh, Nabila, these uh, images are uh, latest. They are uh, what the position is on uh, July 29th. And there are a few very important uh, things that uh, uh, clearly come out in these images. Uh, one is that the Chinese have enhanced the number of boats that they have uh, in uh, Finger 5 and Finger 6. Uh, while they continue to have at least three boats uh, in the Finger 5 area, uh, they have enhanced the number of boats uh, at Finger 6 from 8 to 10. Uh, at Finger 6, there is a permanent uh, uh, space for anchoring these 10 boats. Uh, uh, now, what this means is that, you know, each boat can carry a minimum of 10 troops. And these are, you know, uh, uh, troops of the PLA, ground forces, uh, uh, naval wing, which are uh, elite uh, forces. And this means that uh, in a very quick time, any kind of... Uh, an offensive can be launched by them. Other than this, uh, you know, the prefabricated huts that have come up, 40 of them, that's a huge number. This suggests that uh, uh, the Chinese are preparing for the long haul because prefabricated tents can accommodate uh, a dozen uh, uh, troops uh, and uh, it can withstand extreme cold conditions. So it clearly shows uh, that China has begun to make preparations uh, for the long haul. Uh, before the winter sets in and why all this is important is and crucial is because uh, this has been happening amid all the talk of disengagement. Uh, in fact, yesterday, the Chinese ambassador in New Delhi uh, also uh, very clearly hinted that uh, uh, the Chinese are not going to move back uh, from the Pengong area because uh, he said that, uh, uh, the China, uh, the, the, that China has not made any attempts uh, uh, to uh, move beyond their stated uh, claim. As far as India is concerned, India has been claiming that uh, uh, the Chinese came in about 8 kilometers uh, from Finger 8, which India believes is the line of actual control. Right, Abhishek, uh, they, in that case, uh, for the amount of talks that have taken place between the two sides, the two military chiefs, uh, eventually uh, it w the result should have been uh, China pulling back. In, in, in Galwan, we are looking at status quo being maintained, but here in Pangong, so they refuse to budge. What do you think is the intention there? They're, they're, what exactly does China really want to state here? Well, it seems that uh, the longer uh, this uh, continues, this kind of a stand, uh, you know, standoff continues in Pengong, a new status quo is emerging. And that's the fear within the Indian security establishment as well, uh, because, uh, you know, it's very clear that uh, China...
Hi everyone, Preeti Chaudhary here. Hope you like this video. For latest news and analysis, like and subscribe to the India Today YouTube channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated. Thank you for watching.